uh, spawning time, the spawning, till the uh, fry hatch get out from the gravel, from the pibbles. Uh, so basically it's in between November to June. And uh, what do they do? Um, and, uh, and they know they know exactly how many water ne is needed to cover the spawning sites. So, but independently of that, uh, and when they work with one turbine, the flow uh, corresponding to that it's uh, roughly 4,600 uh, uh, cubic feet second. And this is the blue, the blue. Uh, uh, bar chart uh, the, there. So, I mean, it might be difficult to see uh, from there, but I mean, 22% of the time they're running with uh, at 4,600 cubic feet second. So, what does that mean? When they're running at 4,600 <laughs> cubic feet second, 40% of the spawning ground are dried up. They, they're really concerned about sun. Really. <laughs> <coughs> I'm speaking for Andrew Quebec. <laughs> so <coughs> downstream, what what what's happening with the bank of the river? <coughs> and here you see clay cliffs, okay, unstable clay cliffs. And why we have such unstable clay cliffs uh, beside the river? Because the water goes up and down seven times a day. So it's impossible for the vegetation, the, the, uh, on the ecotone. The ecotone, for the one who doesn't know what that means, that's the vegetation which is making the transition between the forest and the river. So the shrubs uh, and things like that. And this important vegetation is holding the whole system together. So when you destroy that, uh, and when you add sensitive material like, uh, like clay, I mean, Clay, I mean, one of a sudden, go down to the river, thousands of times, many times a year, and it's very f frequent process, and it's even dangerous to go on top of these cliff, cause you, uh, cliffs, because you never know when uh, maybe 10,000 tons or 100,000 tons will go to the river. 